like the differences in religion and the scientific theories of evolution. Um, there are a lot of confusions about whether to believe cold hard facts of scientific evolution or to go with your faith and religion. Um, teachers are teaching students something called divine creation or the belief that we were all created by something that we believe in. There are many ways to prove both of these ways to be true. Scientific evolution is based on real facts and religion is belief. Both can be supported, but the real question is which one do you go with? Us as kids are always told that you aren't supposed to believe everything that you see in movies and books. Scientific theories of evolution are taught using outstanding facts and lots of backup information to prove it. Is magic real? I bet most of the people out there are saying no. Well, um, according to what our cur curriculum is teaching us, teachers are trying to tell us that our so-called God magically formed a creature and just called it a human. Isn't that a type of magic? Yeah. Um, why would you teach two different things in the same classroom? That's like teaching kids how to divide, then moving straight on to the Civil War. It doesn't quite work that way. Also, not all people have the same religions. Like, like Morgan said earlier, what if teachers, what if the teacher you have is atheist? That teacher isn't gonna, isn't gonna want to teach you about religious views of evolution because personally they don't believe in it. Also, again, not all teachers believe in the same thing. Not all of them are going to be Christian. So therefore, teachers should not have to go through some sort of Christianity class so they don't mess up the beliefs of our students and actually know what they're talking about. Um, the First Amendment in the U.S. Constitution is freedom of religion and speech. Also, all people, including students, should, not, should have the right to say what religion they want to be. Children are being taught one thing at school, but their parents might believe and also want their kids to believe another way. They could want them to be taught only a certain way, and when schools teach it, they could feel like that rule is being violated or broken. Many people are very strong in their religion and try not to believe anything else. If parents do believe in what is being taught, they don't always have to learn it in school. Other outside of school activities are like youth group and going to church on Sundays. There are other substitutions rather than making everyone else sit through something that they might not believe in. School is not the only place that divine creation can be taught in, and people need to understand that not everyone has the same beliefs as you do and the school does not need to violate that privacy. This whole topic also violates the whole First Amendment, freedom of speech and religion. Students should not be able to believe the practice that they want to believe in. Not all people have the same beliefs, and teachers are trying to teach that in school. Law of separation of church and state is a big role in this argument also. One is because of religious views of church and the belief of other students. People get, could get offended and it could violate what they believe in. Creationism and evolution should most definitely be taught to people who believe in it, just not in schools. by the facts that my teammates have presented, creationism should be taught alongside evolution. Instead of arguing that students may get offended by teaching religion in schools, understand that religion is not being forced onto students. The idea is simply being taught. Students won't be required to study the religious ideas of man any more than they will be required to study the evolutionary origins of man. Along with this, religion is simply being presented as an idea when talking about the origins of man. Think of it as a theory, the divine theory, and both theories are being taught to educate students on which they choose to believe. During Grace's speech, she mentioned the America has freedom of religion argument and briefly went into that. Along with that, by teaching the divine theory in schools, we are, once again, just educating a theory and making it optional whether the students believe it or not. Schools should be giving, no, schools will be giving students freedom by giving them the option on what to believe, religion or not, and religion or not, and are therefore helping students decide which they think is valid. In Alex's speech, he mentioned how teaching creationism would be unconstitutional, but as long as they don't promote it, it is merely just a choice. I couldn't agree with him more. In the Constitution, it says how the church and state must be separated, but it is also saying how religion is not the base for creating law. By deciding that schools should teach the religious side of man's origin, it is still an option. 